on. All right, go. Imam, kick it off for us. Yeah, so coming in at number five. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, it's quite a big tune on TikTok, but I don't think it was meant to be a TikTok tune, but it's After Party by Don Tolliver. Um, just, yeah, I mean, it. I read Don Tolliver in, in general, and it, like, he just makes some big, big, big bangers. And this one is like a good summertime vibe. Like, obviously, the sun's come out. Yeah, now we're going through this yeah, heat, yeah. Wave, supposedly. Like, you can just whack this on. I can just imagine... All of us doing a carpool karaoke to this, you know, just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Dan Tolliver, after party, number five for me. Right, for me, I've, uh, my, my uh, number five is uh, May Small's Young Ads Freak. Nice. Ooh. Video's coming out first. Yeah, yeah they need today. a video for that. That is a big, big banger. The vibe's just different for that song, man. Big show. Yeah, May. his album, big up May, if you know. His yeah. album's pretty lit, I can't lie. I remember, I think last time we had a discussion, me, when we did it last time, I put Nafe's song with uh, Huncho and uh, Dino in the oh, top yeah. five. Because that's a banger as well. Mm, yeah, Nafe's you got to cool. give it to Nafe. You, get, you got some big features on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, my number five is Lil Dirk Street Prayer. That's off his um, new mixtape. Oh. I don't know if you heard it, but it's good. Trust me, it's really good. And yeah, yeah not, much, not much to say about that one. But yeah, moving on to number fours. Yeah, I mean, I think he had to make it into the list somewhere. But it's uh, Mr. Number One, KSI, Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> I think his whole album is really good. There are a lot of bangers, but I don't yeah. think anything will top Houdini. Yeah, he's got some big features, Offset, Rich the Kid, AJ Tracy, but the one with Swarms and T.M. Wayne, that's like a, that's like a UK summer tune Yeah, as well, UK, like, 100%. That, that should be in like GRM. Man. That's really yeah, daily. that's one of those ones. Then, like Thursday, eight PM, you get that video, like you know, like Friday on all yeah. these. Like, do that. This okay. song was different. Like when he, when he, I remember when he put it on his Instagram and he's like, yeah, about the, to the biggest banger. And I was thinking, what? Tion Wayne and Swarms? Are you crazy? And then it sounded like that, and then it just been on repeat ever since. And then obviously, easy, I, easy, I, I haven't, we haven't listened for music for the last month. And then when you hear it again, you're like, yo, this one hundred fam. It's was just it's... actually insane bro bro it can when it gets played at festivals and uh clubs after we get out of lockdown <laughs> bro that it's, is gonna a banger. it's gonna be a banger serious banger but at mine for number four i'll put uh young bane are you mad oh you have the... oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh okay good job. yeah it's off his, it's off his uh quarantine album it's with k trap yeah. Oh, I just think I just think Young Bane is one of the most underrated artists in the game right now. He is, yes, and he is, you know. I want to give Young Bane an honorable mention because I was going to put him in my top five, but not for that song for Table for Two. I don't know if you yeah, had Table yeah, for Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you get a nice little vibe from Table for Two. Okay, he he's made a got, big album as well. He's just got so many bangers to his name. He just, I, I wish he released more. You know, mm, hundred. Yeah, that's true. You know, all these bangers just go unnoticed. Yeah, for like, real. Section was a banger as well. He dropped that before the album came out. Yeah, Perfect. it's got. <laughs> yeah. My number four is KSI as well, yeah, but I put Tides. Because obviously, Houdini's oh. a banger. Oh, But, yeah. shout, but I shout, rinsed shout. Houdini before the album even came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, now what's fresh? That's what I'm listening a lot. Tides. I think that, that's literally KSI's best hook he's ever done. I think, yeah, I think uh, he definitely needs a music video for that one. Definitely. Houdini. No one cares about Rich the Kid, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's about the KSI and the fact that AJ was on it, AJ Tracy. Yeah, AJ Tracy, isn't he? He's on the scene, bro. He needs to jump on a video on that. So true, so true. All right, number three. Ooh, this is this is a sticky one, but um, yeah, number three for me is uh, <laughs> Drake and Tootsie Slide. <laughs> no. Oh, <man>. my God. <laughs> What, this really? Is, is... Yeah, I swear No, to it's God, a good this... tune. It's a good tune. Bro, you've you been, just, been, you been on TikTok, TikTok too much. much. Listen, listen, listen. You can't deny it yet. Like, of course, like, most of these tunes, unfortunately, have been turned into TikTok, isn't it? But yeah, everything. This can... tune, yeah. Four minutes straight, hits different, fam. Then you could give me this. <laughs> I can, this I can, that is wavy, wavy. I can agree it's a good song, but, like, TikTok has rinsed it that hard that I hate it. It's not that point. Yeah. yeah like, it got me to that so, point. But I just like it, it because, like, say... Like what we said so far, like listening to Young Bane, KSI, these are like proper big bangers, isn't it? Like yeah. obviously you need those couple of tunes that like brings the vibe down a little bit, you know, you can chill and cool too. Like imagine being on the beach, yeah. 
Just chill it. And you're listening, yeah. you're listening to two seats like this. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waffling. I'm waffling. I'm waffling. But number three, yeah. Two seats like this. Anyway, for my number three, uh, I've actually put one of KSI's album ones in there, but from his uh, deluxe one, I put uh, complicated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just think the vibe on that is just something different to KSI. I think he's got a lot of bangers on there, like Killer Killer and like Killer Bad Killer. Little Vibe. But this oh, one, why was it not on the actual album? Complicated man, you should put it on yeah. the album. Yeah, you should have put it on the other one because it was such a different song. Oh, I just I don't know what it is about it, man. It's just on replay. Okay. <laughs> my, my, my number three. It's actually last time's number one. Let's move down two spaces. The baby rock star. Listen, oh. it's still an absolute banger. Yeah. But maybe it's just slowly dying out. It's Another still a banger. TikTok's overused. Yeah, TikTok just yeah. grabbed it by the throat. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. With this TikTok thing, that's going to be with the majority of songs that come out. Now, everyone's going to be trying nabbing these songs and making yeah, If yeah, it's yeah, catchy, yeah. it's on TikTok. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. Because Sukraj, so, I remember when me and you was like speaking ages ago. This was when like Two C Slide was first released. Oh, like this and was the first I didn't day came it, like, literally. Yeah, I didn't hear it first, but you did, and you were like, "Oh shit, I should have known." I've already turned into a TikTok. I was like, "What already?" That's yeah, crazy. Away. Damn man, man. I'm just asking it quick. I'll tell you now, Drake did it because he knew there'd be a dance to it, and he knew that's TikTok straight away. He knew that. Yeah, it's just good, good thinking for the audience, isn't it? That's what yeah. Drake is. Just, so. True, true. Good. So, number two for me is the same as yours, so Kraj, about your number three rock star because that's just still a like, like we said, it's just a, it's still bangs, isn't it? Like even still though it's a TikTok, a you can still listen to it. When Roddy Rich comes in, yeah, you just yeah. feel something different. I mean, yeah. I told you last time, like his line, yeah. Uh, that codeine had a young he put young ads on toast, fam. Like young ads <laughs> could never do that. <laughs> Get that, like that. as so much true. as we as much as we love young ads, fam. Like ra- yeah, that's like, true. You know, the vocals so... are different. Roddy Roddy makes it look so easy. Like it's just it's just mad how he yeah. makes it. Very true. Well, my number but, two. Yeah, that's it. My number two is, has to be for the culture. I do half like it, but it is a bit annoying as well. It's a uh, Google by Six Nine. <laughs> oh, see, I'm happy you did that because I haven't got that on my list. It, has to, it has to make the top five of one yeah, of what it's it done to the streets right now. It slaps, man. Yeah. Yeah. The beat, the beat slaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. He what changed up his like... voice a bit in the middle. I mean, I'm assuming you guys must have seen this whole billboards rubbish. What do you What do you think about that? I I, I agree. I think they do buy. Um, you think they buy? It? They bought it because apparently yeah. there was something like sixty thousand streams or something were bought off four different credit cards. Well, wow, that's yeah, crazy. it seems a bit it's a bit questionable, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they just threw it back at him saying you bought you bought views. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. Nah, but nah, I don't miss uh, I respect that you put him there. It's, it's just for the culture really. He, does, like, he, he's does, he does need to be appreciated. He is like yeah. a massive artist. He's huge. Mm, it's massive now. Yeah. My number should. two, yeah. I told him I'm about my number two. I don't know if you've heard me listen to it on Spotify, but listen. It's Will Smith, yeah, and he hopped on the remix with Joanna <laughs> Lucas, and the song's called Will. And if you listen to anyone who hasn't heard it yet, listen, listen to, to Will Smith's verse, yeah, right now, and you'll you'll never regret it ever. This is not the Will Smith you're thinking you're gonna hear. Yeah, I didn't, like he he spits did, a verse which any like I'm talking a top tier verse, like the top artist would be happy to have him on a track if he was spitting a verse like that. Yeah, Will yeah. Smith. Like, Will Smith's right. one of the most like versatile characters in the game, like right now. He just he's done everything, man. Greatest entertainer. Yeah. One of the no, greatest do you know ever. what? Adam, do you know what I like to call James Milner. He does everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call him James Milner around, around here. Easy uh, comparison. That, easy comparison. I remember well, when I Go on. I'll tell you the story about this song. So, Joyner Lucas made a song and it was just called Will. And the whole video was based off the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And obviously, he didn't know who, um, he didn't know Will Smith. It was just like his idol. So, he made a video. And then Jaden Smith is joining Lucas's mate. So Jaden told his dad, like Will Smith, and then Will Smith goes, oh, he loved the song so much, he just hopped on the remix. Man. You gotta respect it, man. He yeah, is. He's one for the people, man. <laughs> yeah, he's a people's guy. <laughs> people's <laughs> champ. The people's, people's champ. champ. The That's what Troops champ. is called on TV. I mean, on Twitter, not TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Classic troops. Classic troops. Oh, I forget the troops. In M. I... Huncho, in M. Huncho's video on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Living Ledge, man. Fuck it up. Number one. Yep, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Um, I mean, I told you I could have put all of these songs from his album in this number five, but, you know, for the purpose mm. of this video, you know, I had to do this. Uh, Coast to Coast by Nav. Oh, my God. If any of you haven't listened to Nav's album yet, Actually, I'm, happy, no. but I've listened I'm, to it on shuffle, so I don't know which one that is. Telling you, just listen to. It. He's got some big features, and I'm talking big features because obviously Nav's like a big name. Let me just name some of the features he's got. Yeah, Young Thug, Future, Gunner, Travis Scott, Lil Uzi Vert, Pop Smoke. By the way, that song's a banger as well. Like, What's that, that called? Run it up. Uh, uh, Young you Thug. You need to listen to the one on Pop Smoke's album. It's called Wolves. Different. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, from different. time, but yeah. Um. Like little Dirks on it as well, but Coast to Coast is just him in it, and that mm. song is, I personally think he's best on the album, even though he's got all these big features. I told you I could have put all of his um, albums yeah, 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 in this top five. So if anyone hasn't listened to Nav, yeah, this album, go listen to his deluxe. I'll put some respect on Nav Deep's name, you know. I hear that, I hear that. Well, my one, uh, my number one, I could have put. As Imam said, any song from this album, but it's a different artist. Any song from this album could have gone down. I do think it's probably the album of the year. It's a uh, the baby with NBA, Young mm. Boy Jump. Ooh, yeah, yeah I, I, like just think, I just think the yeah. baby. He's made probably the best album this year on earth. I mean, it's really it's interesting you say that because you obviously must have seen there's bare controversy surrounding the baby because everyone says he sounds the same in each of his yeah, songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just the the, fact... he switched it up this one. He just, yeah. he just did. So I'll tell you is... what it is about that comment, yeah. It's like people say that about Fredo as well, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, he sounds the same in every th- song. But then, do you know when he changes it, people complain? Yeah. So, like, what do you want? You never be the same. When he changes, was... you don't like it. So, when you're at the top, people are just always trying to make it. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're never going to win anyway. Let's be real, you're never going to win. Because look, the only people that are winning is them because they're still getting paid. Yeah, exactly. exactly like, think about it like this, yeah. We really like DB, right? Everyone, like, the, like we know that like, they've conquered the UK and shit, but people complain about them auto tuning. But if, mm. if they stopped auto tuning, they'd be like, yo, you sound shit. You yeah, can never exactly. win. They wouldn't be DB. <laughs> It's just you can't win with these people. It's interesting like, how, uh, unless Sukaraj has it, none of us have got a proper deep like Europe song here. No, we haven't. I mean, I mean, I could have put Mains, uh, honorable mention. Oh, 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 yeah, or Waze. Album. Or Waze, yeah, Waze is a class yeah. as well, but. They've been rinsed already, I've listened to them. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's too late to put them in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And obviously, the tunes we've discussed, they're just like big hits because, I mean, the US scene is killing it. So let's start off first by saying the line. You know, I could have put any song from this guy's album, but I had mm. to choose my favorite one. Mm. So this is Polo G's album, The Goat. Yeah, and I chose number thirty. The song's called Thirty Three. That tune, yeah, I, I have listened. Listen, <laughs> I've literally listened to that nonstop. Yeah, Thirty Three, Scotty Pippen, and now I'm watching the Last Dance. Listen, yeah, it just you know that makes a song even better. The fact that I'm watching the the Chicago Bulls documentary, mm. it just makes a song better. So Eleven ten documentary, by the way, so definitely recommend that to anyone who ain't watched it. So yeah, that that's number one from the album called The Goat. Now let's just quickly get through some honorable mentions. Anyone got some? Yeah, I had a couple. Um, just bear with me one second. I'm gonna quickly just... say so. Adam said yeah. the the baby and NBA YoungBoy. So on NBA YoungBoy, he released a mixtape, and that was a song with the baby. I'm guessing they like recorded it on the same day. It's called mm. Diamonds, and I think that tune's better than the yeah. than Jump. That's good. Mm, yeah. It's a good so, song. Yeah, it's a good song. I, I think the honourable mention is, uh, although it's older now and I've rinsed it, I think we have to mention Chunks. Uh, with clean, his, up. Uh, mm. clean Up. Yeah, Clean Up. Big, big tune. That was for the streets, for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. He dropped, he's, has he dropped a new song? Oh. He's on SoundCloud, though. Yeah, he's yeah, on SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another honourable mention for me, I'm surprised we actually didn't put this at number five. Obviously, the tunes we've said are better, but Dinner Guest, uh, AJ Tracy, most Oh, my God, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. That, that <laughs> slapped. Every verse was just 10 out of 10. <laughs> the verses, yeah, if you deep the verses. <laughs> <laughs> most like, is even all the most. Right like, he still tried it with George Smith. <laughs> <laughs> still to this day. 
<laughs> Most likes definitely that meme in it when you just like had to look like right because I got left on red. <laughs> <laughs> His Snapchat stories are messed up as well. I know, I know, man. Most likes a funny guy. Yeah, he is one for the people again. Yeah, the people's, um, the people's champ. The people's champ, champ. Um. A good one. I don't know if you guys have heard it. Is um, uh, Wanna by Gunna. It yeah, I heard his whole album. It's it's good, isn't it? No, uh, the thing is, I rate Gunna so much, but it's not like I'm gonna uh, slap it. I'll put a Gunna album on. Do you know what I mean? You just want some. Yeah. It sounds bad, but like so, just some background music because it's always wavy. Yeah. But it's nothing that I think I'm gonna really learn the lyrics to or something like. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I understand. I don't even. But it slaps. It does slap. Smooth. Yeah. But in recent times, apart from KSI, we can ag- all agree upon the US scene has been killing it at the moment. Yeah. 1,000. I, I don't even think we could put KSI in that bracket there. Like. Yeah. But no, that, we really put KSI in like, because we're like big KSI fans. Yeah, yeah fanboys, yeah. I, I, the only reason <laughs> I said KSI because let's be real, his album's number one and he's KSI seen recently. No one's done anything. Yeah. You know what Bro, I'm saying? Not- he did release it at a time when the only other like from what i know stupid like ridiculous album is the k-pop one that i've heard of is k-pop and uh, the gunner album yeah well, that's how clever his movement is though man yeah so i just he just knows he just knows man Lil babies came out when polo g's came out and Lil dirks came out like they, they, the deluxe i think but mm. what i'm saying is yeah. like some people release it when all the other artists are releasing it so it's, mm. it's really competitive yeah i think so, yeah. I, th- I hope ksi does get number one though yeah, yeah just, for the, just for the YouTube scene, man. But yeah, so, but let's be real. Like you said, if other people release it when you're going to get competitive, like KSI's still going to bang views. Like we know he's got a massive fan base behind him. He's got a massive yeah. following. Yeah, that's the driving force of it all. Exactly. And then obviously, I don't know if you man saw Logan Paul shouted out as well. That's yeah. another 20 million. Yeah, Logan Paul just video. popped off as well. Yeah. I just seen that in Logan Paul's video. I had to reload it. Like, yo, that's actually a <laughs> isn't it? Fair yeah. enough. But that's another 20 odd million people from the US, you know, yeah, tuning exactly. in. Exactly. He's that definitely man? Him, man. He's, you just gotta appreciate what he's done, really. Yeah, 100. Probably but yeah, there, yeah, that's the top five done then, I guess. <laughs> Come back next week to find out the next top.